Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Delena and you are watching Brown Girl Lux. Today I filmed this super easy summer makeup routine for oily skin for you all. If you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. <laughs> So we are gonna go ahead and get primed. This is going to be my summer glam, summer makeup routine for oily skin. So yeah, let's get into it. I am gonna start out with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So I'm gonna start out with this particular primer just because it works well for me and I really like it. I already moisturized with my Petal Potion from MBT Body Care, so it'll be linked below. I also went ahead and moisturized after that with my Clinique uh, Moisturizing Gel. So you've seen that in my 10 best uh, beauty products for oily skin videos, so y'all already know I'm filling those products. So most of these you'll see today you saw in that video. And of course my brows are already done, so yeah. This here definitely is more of a soft matte primer, which I really do like this. Then I'm gonna go on top of this primer with the All Nighter Primer from Urban Decay. So this is definitely a favorite of mine as well, and I did mention it in my 10 Best Beauty Products for Oily Skin. Definitely gonna help your makeup stay on. I am going to a birthday party, so I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of people, maybe a little bit hot, so I need my makeup to hold on. All right, so we're gonna give that a minute just to melt into the skin and then we're gonna go ahead and move into our foundation. So we're gonna be using two foundations today. So I'm going to be using both of the Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation. So I'll be using it in chai and then also in chestnut. These two colors together just make the perfect shade for me. So that is what I'm gonna use. But oh, before I do that, let's set our smile lines. This is not a step you just have to do, but I would say for the oily people out there, this is a step you may wanna go ahead and just do anyway. So all I do is take some of the medium deep Laura Mercier setting powder and then I just take the little powder puff that came with it and I just pat that into my T-zone and then my smile lines. I shake the foundations and mix them on my hands. So I always put down my darker shade first. So I'm putting down chai first, and then I'm gonna put chestnut on top. All right, so those, and then today I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Foundation Brush. Y'all, I have been using a foundation brush lately and I really, really do like it. So I'm gonna stick with it. I'll be using a brush quite a bit today for several different things, so. Um, Y'all will notice that that's something definitely a little different for me just because I will say I, I thought I was a beauty blender girl, but I don't know. I feel like I've been liking the coverage that I get when I do everything with the brush or at least do everything with the brush and maybe just go on top of it with the beauty blender. So, and this foundation definitely is more mattifying. It definitely gives good coverage. I wouldn't say I don't I don't feel super dry with this in comparison to some of my other foundations but I would say it's definitely you know something that's good for the oily combination skin folks definitely good for us okay so this is kind of what the foundation is looking like ignore that pimple it's kind of hormonal <laughs> and this one over here as well so getting close to that time so of course, Mother Nature just wants to act a fool on my skin. All right. Okay. Looks good to me. You just gotta just check, check, double and triple check to make sure everything blended, but it looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead next and put down my first round of concealer. So for the first round of concealer, we're gonna do the Cover FX concealer this is an nd2 i use this all the time to me this is just a great concealer to start out with this shade just because it's a little closer to my skin tone so it doesn't give a ton of highlight but it gives amazing coverage so we're gonna start here blend it in with a brush this is actually a sonia kashik brush or sonia kashik 
it's definitely saying a contour brush but y'all i don't use it for that i absolutely use that this brush for i use this brush for under the eyes so i'm going to give it just another couple moments while i'm doing that i can work on getting some of my other stuff out which is what i'm going to do um and then i'm going to get my other round of concealer so we'll do dior next all right so i'm going to go ahead and just start right here blending in this area so my cupid's bow area let's just blend that okay and then this brush is very soft so it blends very easily so now i'm going to just start over here under the eye and i'm just going to make sure i'm looking up all right and then i'm going to go over this with my dior concealer so this is in 4.5 and neutral this one is definitely going to give me more of a highlight So I'll start out first just kind of blending out here. Go ahead and blend under the eye, but I'm gonna go under the eye first with, actually I'm gonna do my nose first, I'm sorry. So we're gonna get this blended. So with the brush, so we're gonna pat it in. So our concealer is blended in, so I'm gonna go ahead and set with my Laura Mercier Honey Setting Powder. Y'all notice my go-to, and I want to make sure I don't go too crazy because sometimes y'all I be putting way too much setting powder on here. So let me just tap it a little, and then blend it. And yeah, there we go. And I'm kind of like pressing it in at first, and then I'll bake it. Let it bake. So I'll add more to bake with. Not too much more though. We are using my go-to, oh wow, I just, y'all just dug my finger in that shadow. Wow, okay. I guess I should be glad that's not a color I always grab because what the heck. Anywho, y'all, I am using my Too Faced palette. Y'all know this is like my go-to. This is the Extra Spicy Gingerbread or Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette. So this is just my go-to when I'm going out, honestly, and I'm just gonna stick with it because I'm not in the mood to really like do anything too crazy today. So I'm gonna start out with my go-to shade, which is Gingerbread Glam. So I'm gonna pack that on first. So I have plenty of that on the brush and we're gonna pack that on and then blend it. And I just use windshield wiper motions as normal to build up my shade. That's the color I want. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to grab one more round for this eye just to even it out. I like it, y'all. So next, I'm going to go in with my faithful cookie call, which is this deep brown. Get enough of that on your um, brush. And then I'm going to work that in. I'm going to work that in in the outer V and then like in the inner crease. I think that's pretty deep so I'm gonna pause there and if I have to go back and add some more later I will I am just grabbing a flat brush so I can go ahead and do my um, lid color so this is just a bliss brush and it's just a flat dense brush I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna go with half baked so yeah let's go in with that so I'm putting a whole bunch on my brush so I can see that color pay off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my lid. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pack it on the other lid. So again, get plenty of it. So now what I wanna go back and do is go into Cookie Call, which is that dark brown. I'm just gonna go into the Cookie Call and just kinda make sure it blends area and transition area and just make sure that color is not lost I have probably done this look on my channel y'all so if you're like oh I want to see it da, da, da. I have done this on my channel before this is something I do pretty often I'm a very like simple eyeshadow girl so 
I'm sure you've seen these colors before. But yes, that looks good to me. So the next step we're gonna do is just go ahead and pop on some eyeliner because I wanna get prepped for lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, actually, mm -mm. we're not gonna put eyeliner on yet, y'all. Let's go ahead and contour. So let's go ahead with our Fenty Beauty Contour and Espresso. This is a normal one for me. Ooh, oh, wow, I'm finally getting kind of low. Oh, wait, no. I'm also like, uh oh, I'm finally getting low on this. What's going on in the world? Okay. Okay. So, contour first. And then I'm just grabbing this flat top brush. And all I do is just buff it up and buff it in. So, buff up, buff in. Okay, then after you've done that, I'm just gonna put down some of the Laura Mercier Honey right up under where I contoured. And we're just gonna leave that there for a moment. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. So I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty bronzer. So I'm gonna use thick mint like on my cheeks and forehead. And then I'm going to use um, Coco Naughty around the nose area. So I'm just gonna use this brush. And right above here so and then just go all around the forehead this is set long enough under here so I'm gonna buff that out okay okay that's long enough and then just finish taking my bronzer all around so now I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty in Coco Naughty and I am gonna go ahead and um, contour my nose with this. So I'm just gonna take this thick Sonia Kashuk brush and just get another color on there and then just go ahead and contour the nose. Looks good to me. So that is our nose contour. I'm just gonna take my Fenty Beauty powder. Y'all have seen me rant and rave about this as well. I'm gonna take this powder and just go ahead and set all the areas, um, or just kind of go over all the areas, I should say, not set really, but just go all over over the areas except for where I bronzed. Then, then what I'll go ahead and do is take my Too Faced Hangover Spray, and we're gonna kind of spray our face down to just get a less powdery effect, okay? So let's just spray that. Get that powdery effect kind of just out of there. We don't want that. So. We just kind of let that melt down into our skin. Put a little bit of liner on my eyelids. And that's all I do just to give my um, eyelids a little bit of a lining. And then I'm going to apply just a hair of mascara because we are applying lashes. If y'all have not um, heard in previous videos, I had a allergic reaction to lash extensions. So my lashes are thin, okay? They are gone. They are terrible right now. But... I can tell they're growing back in some, especially on my um, left eye, but y'all, it's gonna take some time. I think it says normally like six or eight weeks to really start seeing them grow back in, so I got a long ways to go. But we are gonna come back because I am gonna go ahead and just put my lashes on, so we will come back and finalize everything with the lippy, blush, and everything else, so we'll be back. I've got my lashes applied. They look pretty good. Hopefully they're on securely because I'm gonna be out. So <laughs> don't need no slip ups. I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush. So I am gonna use the NARS Savage Blush. I've used this before on my channel and I really, really like it. So we're gonna go ahead and place some of that on my brush, get a good amount. I'm gonna take it up a little higher than I usually do. I think that's enough on the blush. Then we're going to go ahead and actually first, we're gonna take some black eyeliner, y'all. I broke my Maneater pencil somehow. So I'm just using this Rimmel London Soft Cold pencil because that's all I got right now. Ed and take the Becca Chocolate Guild highlighter. I'm actually gonna first put some in the tear ducts of my eye. Kind of already the shadow kind of ran over. So I'm like, well, I might as well just put some in it. So my Cupid's bow. Just down the center of my nose and then on the tip. 
And I'm just gonna take my Anastasia brush and just kind of work that in. I just take the extra across my brows and then boom. Okay, looks pretty good to me. So then the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to line my lips because we need to get our lips popping. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and first, I'm using two other setting sprays. I'm gonna first put down the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray first, right? So this one's first. Okay. So I'm using that one first. Um, Y'all, as oily people, we gotta set, set, set. So I'm gonna set that down first. Then I'm gonna go back before I do the Hydro Grip Primer. I'm gonna add some bottom mascara. But we're gonna go ahead and just do our lips first while we wait on that to just melt into the skin. So I'm using my Kat Von D Crucifix, no surprise there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC Shrimp tin lip gloss or lipstick. I apologize. This is a satin, so it's not matte, but it's not like super creamy either. So, just putting that like in the center, and then we're gonna blend it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want this color to turn too brownish, so um, that is where I'm gonna stop it. And then I'm gonna take my Dior So Light. So this is my new lip gloss, which I really love. I'm gonna take that to top it. And as y'all know, I don't like my lips to be super glossy, so I'm not gonna put any more than that on. The next thing we're gonna do is just apply some bottom mascara. So the Bad, Gang, Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit, my go-to. Let's put some of that on the bottom. Okay. There's that bottom mascara. And then I'm gonna let that just dry down for a moment, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna powder one more time, and then I'm going to set. So we'll be back for that. All right, y'all, before we spray the last round of setting spray, I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my Fenty powder and I'm again, just taking it with that powder brush. And again, I'm just going in to make sure my T-zone is matte as possible. So I wanna be matte. I don't wanna have too much shine. The only shine I want you all to see is the shine from like my blush and my highlight. That's it. So that is all we want for this makeup routine for oily skin. This is all we want. This is my summer routine. Then lastly, I am gonna just take the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. Y'all, I done told you this don't fail me. So this is my go-to, I really love it. Okay. Now. That is our final setting spray. So we use three setting sprays in this video. Y'all, listen. When you oily, you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? You have to do what you have to do. But this is the final look. Let me just pull my hair in front. It's probably got a little bend in it from those clips, but let me just get it together here for y'all. But yeah, so this is our final look. I feel very, very matte but not dry, okay? So I feel mattified, <laughs> but I do not feel like my skin is dry or I feel like anything I move, my skin is gonna like start to peel, crack or anything crazy like that. I don't feel like that, but I do feel like I am not gonna look like a grease box in the next 10 minutes, you know what I mean? So I think this look came out really nice. Um, again, I've kind of done this shadow look on my channel before, so you've seen it, but we ain't doing, you know, nothing new or crazy today. But the main point was just to kind of show you what I'm doing for this summer to keep my skin as oil-free as possible. And this is pretty much it. Again, you want to have some glow, but let it be from like your highlight, your blush. Don't let it be from oil. But y'all really love how this came out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in my next one.